What's up everyone, it's Real Fatties here and today I'm going to show you how I set up my rig for float fishing for fall Chinook and also coho salmon. Uh, this is how I set it up for float fishing with eggs or coon shrimp, either one works. Um, Alright, let's get into this. So first off, what you're going to want to do is get yourself a reel um, in the 3500 range. Um, you don't need to go bigger than that. That'll be just fine for salmon steelhead for your local tributaries. Um, one of the most important things for float fishing that you're going to need is you're going to need braid on the reel. And you're going to want to go a little bit heavier than what you would normally think. Um, so I would normally go 30 pound, but currently with coronavirus and everything like that, it's been crazy hard to get um, line and stuff. So I went with 50 pound because that's just what they had. And normally I would go with a high vis so I could see it better. Um, unfortunately, that's not what they had. So this is what I had to go with. This reel right here is the Fluker President. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description uh, for the review that I did on this reel. It is a great reel. Now, I'm not gonna get too much into the reel. You can check out that video if you wanna check it out. What I use is an Akuma Elite Series 10 to 20 pound rod. Uh, the, the most important thing about these rods is that you get something in the 9 to 10 foot range, anywhere in between there. It could be a little bit longer than that if you want it. Um, I, I like in between 9 to 10 because for smaller rivers and stuff like that, you're not fighting the brush while trying to sweep it over and, and everything. Uh, this right here is the Akuma uh, Elite Series. I like this rod a lot. It's I think around the $80 range. So there's a couple options when setting this up. You can either go with a bobber stop that is one of these rubber ones, or you can go with a bobber stop that a lot of people use as a string. It goes through the tube right there, and then you pull two strings and it makes a knot. Uh, both of them work just fine, but what you're going to want to do, first of all, is go ahead and put the bobber stop on your uh, main line. This is just mono because it's for demonstration. Uh, so once you go ahead and put that on your main line, you're going to want to then go ahead and put on your float. This right here is a one ounce float. Um, so once you get once once you get the float on, what you're going to want to do is run the line down to an inline weight. If you can see that right there, uh, what you want to do is make sure that you're always uh, matching it up to a one ounce weight to a one ounce inline weight or like as an example i know i'm going to have some split shots underneath this so i'm actually running a uh three quarter ounce which is working just fine for floating this uh float from there what you're going to want to do is go ahead and tie on tie on your leader line this right here is uh, 15 pound and i run it about 30 inches or so and about a foot away from the hook I run a split shot so then when it's floating down the water the eggs come up just a little bit but it gets a little bit of a better natural presentation sometimes depending on the current and stuff like that I'll run another split shot about a foot up from that uh, one of the most important things about uh, float fishing with eggs is making sure that you have an egg loop knot on there because you're going to need to have that loop just like that so when you wrap the skein through you can go ahead and put it through that loop and uh, cinch it tight it's one of the most important things because believe it or not sometimes when you're float fishing and the eggs start to turn white and stuff like that and that might be the time that you start to get the bite that's how it's been lately with the coho so for the hooks that i'm using i'm using a one aught gamagatsu hook um, this is the big river so as you can see it has a slightly different shape. I've uh, had quite a bit of luck with it so far this year. It's doing me quite well. So what I wanna show you now is how to rig up the eggs actually on the hook. So grab your eggs, go ahead and open them up. Grab out a nice size glob. There you go, you can see that. So what you're gonna wanna do is you got this membrane in the back side of the eggs. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your hook goes through that membrane. So as you see, 
it is just able to hang off of that. And then you wanna loop it through, go through the membrane again. This is very important that you're going through that membrane. This is gonna help it stay on the hook. And once you get it through a couple times, you're gonna to wanna to open that back loop up. Sorry, this one's a little gunked up with eggs. So once you get the loop through like that, you're gonna to wanna to go down, grab the bottom of that sack of eggs there. And so you can see there, cinching it tight, pulling it up. You have your hook and that is perfect right there. So you, the fish is gonna come up like this. It's gonna grab it like that and then boom, it's gonna get the hook right in the corner of its mouth. Sometimes if you're lucky, it might even ingest it and you'll have an even better hook set. I hope that really helps you guys out with uh, rigging up your float fish setups. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm really trying to get this channel to a thousand subscribers and I can't do it without you guys.